Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so, I recently was going through my uh, brushed motors and uh, looking for other ones that, you know, could do a, f a good high speed. And uh, it turns out that these smaller vacuum motors, which is what all these, these four are, um, unloaded really go fast. So I did a little, some... I would guess you would call it data collection and um, ran each of these off of DC at uh, starting at 20 volts then increasing from 30 to 40 all the way up to 80 volts which is where I stopped and um, well this is what I collected so far so each motor so one two three and four that one being a two-speed um, you can see at 20 volts you know speed range was from 6,000 all the way up to, well for the two speed one, 17,000 at only 20 volts. Then you see each one, 30 volts and 40, or up to 28,000 on number two, 33,000 number, on number four, and up to 50 volts, we're over in the 30,000s. That's two speed one at 60 volts, we're at 48,000. Then you're at 70 volts, number one's hitting 40,000, that's at 49. And then 80 volts, so two of them are at 54,000 RPMs, at only 80 volts. So uh, I'm going to do a separate video for each of these motors. And um, I'm going to see what they, what they can really do. I wouldn't be surprised if these are hitting 70, maybe even 80,000 at 120 volts DC. But you know I ain't going to stop there. Oh no. That's not what this is all about. This is about seeing how fast they can really go. And that mean, if that means overvolting them, so be it. I will revolt them. So um, I'll set up the first one, which will probably be this fella right here. I mean, they're not, they're not very big. You can see the size of my hand. They're, they're quite small. These are just little hand from little handheld vacuums, you know, two amp, three amp vacuums. It's not not very much, and they're all they're all pretty much the same size. You know, this this one here is just a little bigger. So uh, I'll set out the first one and see what we can really get out of these. All right, here's motor number one. Um, at about 80 volts, it was doing about 42,000 RPM at 0 0.66 amps. Um, I'll do the other three uh, motors in separate videos to so keep an eye out for those. Um, so the RPMs will be there, your DC volts going to the motor here, and your amps coming off the uh, the step up transformer, which is just off uh, off screen there. So with that being said, let's see what this thing can do. I should just uh, point out that uh, this could get quite loud, so you might want to adjust your speakers or headsets down a little bit right now.
That was over 90,000 RPMs. That's freaking amazing. Damn. Uh, just give me a moment to uh, remove the motor from the board there and I'll uh, show you the damage. All right, so here's the only damage I see. The uh, commentator bars for the brushes are completely gone. They're completely separated and have just they've just gone everywhere. I th actually, I think oh yeah, I just found one. Actually, I think there's a couple of them here. Of course, they're going to spread all over this room, but it doesn't really matter. But uh, there's three of them right there. Not too much other damage. You can see where the wires used to connect. You see they've just been pulled out completely straight because of the centrifugal force this thing was going at the time of failure. Doesn't smell bad. It, I don't, it's not, it's just barely warm. Didn't even get hot. But this, this thing clocked over 90,000 RPMs. That's freaking wild. I wonder if the other, uh, the other three will be able to uh, reach such a high speed. So uh, hit the like button if you uh, enjoyed this high speed video. Uh, hit the dislike if you uh, didn't like it. Subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for the other three motors. Thanks for watching.